Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and today we have the Spider-Man No Way Home final trailer, and I will be reacting to that as soon as it drops. It's going to be dropping any minute now, so I got my headset ready, my Venom headset, and uh, you know, there's a lot of speculation about this movie. Obviously, there's been a lot of leaks recently, and overall, I just haven't covered this too much. I know I talk about Spider-Man on this show because obviously he ties to Venom, and we've been doing more Spider-Man content over the past year or so now, and we just covered the entire alien costume saga with Spider-Man in our 700 episode. So I know we do talk about the character, but I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of the MCU version of Spider-Man. Tom Holland is great. I like Tom Holland a lot in these movies. I think he's a great Spider-Man, and I like the villains in the movies, like Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio, and obviously Michael Keaton as the Vulture. They were both great too, but outside of them, I don't really like too much else about the movies. Uh, the stories don't aren't that interesting to me. Uh, you know, some of the side characters aren't that interesting. It's pretty much just like those elements that I liked. So they're not. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the movies. But I'm also not a hater of the movies. I just I don't know. I, I I kind of I'm old school. I like the Tobey Maguire stuff. So with the leaks and the rumors and all these things, you know, I'm really curious what they're going to show off in this. It's unusual for Sony. Sony normally gives away their final scenes even from their movies in their trailers. I think they did it recently with Res Evil, possibly, and we won't know till the movie comes out. Um, obviously with Venom, they've done that with previous Venom trailers and Spider-Man trailers, where they show you the final shots of the movie, sometimes even the parts of the post credit scene in some of their trailers. So Sony is not very good at like biting their tongue or, or holding things behind, and I think that's why they've been doing so awful at the marketing of this movie. I mean, I think other people have theories and they have sources and all that stuff, and may maybe they're right and I'm wrong, but my theory is, uh, with no sources, is that I just think Sony doesn't know how to market this movie. And they probably have Marvel breathing down their neck saying, don't give away too much, don't give away too much. And they're afraid and they don't know what to do. <laughs> and they've been stumbling this whole time. So their marketing for this movie has not been very good. So, but unfortunately, all the leaks and everything have already got out there. So I will try to avoid saying those here, but we might get them in this trailer. So I would say if you don't want to, you know, if you want to go in this movie as blind as possible, turn away now if you don't want to know the rumors or any of that stuff because we may talk about that after the reaction, but for now, I'm going to at least react to the trailer, and they may show stuff in here that you possibly don't want to see. So turn away now, don't check it out, but if you do want to check it out, I'll put a link to the official trailer down below so you can watch it yourself without me talking over it. All right, so it looks like the trailer is about to drop, so let's wait, you know, I'm going to wait patiently, and we'll hard cut to my reaction. So here we go. All right, I didn't even need to wait like two seconds. As soon as I searched for it, it was Ever there. It just dropped like two minutes spider. ago. So here we go. I've only had one week. Public enemy number one. Where my life has felt normal. That was when you found That's out. That's true. He pretty much only did have like a couple days of normalcy. Because <laughs> he was like a superhero, then he got blipped, and then he came back, and then he had to save the world. that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. And then he had to, uh, then he got his identity revealed. We started oh, getting some visitors. Uh-oh. Visitors. <laughs> the Green Goblin bomb, Everybody. that's cool. Universe. Whoa! Whoa! I like that black suit. It's cool. Hello, Peter. Wow, oh, Alfred Molino. It's cool. He looks good. You're not Peter Ooh. Parker. Oh, whoa! Oh, cool. I'm sorry. What was your name again? Doctor Otto Octavius. Oh, they. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously. What's your actual name? There so they're working with them? We need to send them back. So no. Scooby Doo Ooh. this crap. There's Electro behind you know, him. Oh, this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please. Scooby Doo wow. this crap. <laughs> well, <that was> kind <laughs> flying out into the darkness. Oh, J. John Jameson, that's cool. Ghost. So what Electro. Do you mean? They all die. Fighting Spider-Man. Oh. Whoa! They all die fighting Spider-Man. Sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Oh no. Dang. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. So he he probably doesn't want Doc Ock to die. You're not gonna take this away from me. Whoa! It's Electro again. Holy cow! He looks better. <laughs> Oh, the goblin. Wow, they went full. Oh, what was that? Was that Harry Goblin? Was that New Goblin? Oh, Sandman Lizard. I can't save everyone. So, yeah, they're going full on Sinister Six, huh? Holy cow. Sony finally got their movie. Dang. Oh, shoot. Get her, dude. 
Oh, look at that. No webbing hand. That's good. <laughs> Use your real hands. What's happening? They're starting oh. to come through, and I can't stop them. What's starting to come through? December 17th, exclusively at movie theaters. Oh, okay. Tickets on sale I'm November 29th. I'm guessing that's the moment where Spider all the Monday. come from the other universes. Um, all right. Wow, that was pretty good. Uh, that was a not a bad trailer. All right. So obviously, you know, we got the villains. You know, we saw Electro, Sandman. So they're showing all that stuff. But there's still one major thing they're hiding or keeping. And I'm sure Sony doesn't want to. I'm sure they want to show it to get more people excited for this movie. But uh, but they got to hold something, right? And that's if we're going to see the appearances of other Spider-Man. Obviously, we're getting, you know, different universe villains. And the one thing they all have in common, you know, Doctor Strange said, is that most of them died while fighting Spider-Man. That that's their fate, is to die fighting Spider-Man. And I think at that point, uh, Spider-Man himself, Tom Holland, Spider-Man, he's already probably befriended Dr. Octopus. And he's like, I don't want to send him back because he's going to go back to the moment right before he died. And uh, and I, I'm, I kind of like this guy, maybe. And maybe he's helping us do something. So... That's really, I'm really curious to see that. And it looks like also his arm's got some kind of upgrade with that red armor on there. But then you see Electro, um, but he's, I don't even know if he's the uh, the version from Andrew Garfield's movies because he's not blue, like his skin isn't blue. So he might be from another world, you know, and they just got the same actor back. Then there was a Sandman there and we saw the lizard there from the Andrew Garfield movie um, who did die, at, I think, at the end of his movie. So I'm I'm kind of curious. So we got enough villains to make a six, but I think we also saw the new goblin, the Harry Osborn goblin, possibly. Um, so that would be interesting, uh, interesting to see as well as to see James Franco come back right before he died. You know, helping Spider-Man fight Sandman and Venom. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know. That's that's kind of crazy. But the one thing they didn't show us, like at the end when he's like, "They're coming, they're coming." I'm guessing maybe he meant the potential other. Spider-Man, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, they held that. I was really surprised because that could have easily been the final shot of the trailer and that would have, you know, freaked everyone out. But And that would have probably made people who try to leak that image feel better about, you know, uh, it to an extent, but maybe not also. Uh, you know, that's clearly something they're really trying to hold out and make people kind of doubt, even though most people are pretty sure that we're going to get other Spider-Man in this. I think Sony or Marvel is like, we got to hold one card so we're going to hold this one at least up until the release of the film, much like the way, um, you know, the Venom, like the post credit scene for Venom, which we won't talk about here because I don't want to spoil that for people, who, you know, who haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, that's my uh, and because only reason I say that is because we have people that watch the show that are from Japan and other countries that haven't gotten Venom released in their countries yet. So I'll try to bite my tongue on that one. So try to bite yours, too, in the comments uh, when it comes to that. But. I'm thinking they're trying to hold on to something, you know, and uh, and I'm going to guess the other Spider-Men are what they're going to hold on to. And that's fine. And maybe that'll even create some doubt if we're really going to get them. But I mean, it would be a missed opportunity not to at this point, especially when you see all the villains from their respective universes. You kind of want to see the other Spider-Men now, right? So uh, I don't know. I'm I'm still iffy on this movie. I hope it tells a, a good Peter Parker story. And we saw a little bit more in this, and it seems like we might get that. But I was just so jazzed at the end of the last movie when they revealed Peter Parker was Spider-Man to his world. I thought we were going to get like a Spider-Man fugitive type story or a Spider-Man wanted type story where he's kind of on the run and, you know, and everyone's kind of, um, you know, looking, you know, there's police that are want to go question him. They want to learn more about him. There's maybe S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, terrorist agents, people out there that uh, find out who he is. So they go after his loved ones. Like to me, I would have rather that been the whole story of this movie and maybe get to this later, but obviously Marvel has plans for the multiverse and Sony being Sony wants to rush things like kind of the way Warner Brothers tried to do with their DC universe where they don't want to earn stuff sometimes. And uh, I don't know, maybe it can work out. I still am hesitant about this, but that was at least a decent trailer. And I'm glad that they they actually held off on showing the thing that everybody wanted them to, sh to, to reveal. I'm, I got to give them credit. I can't believe they actually held back. So uh, you let me know what your thoughts are down below. Decent trailer. I liked it. Um, and it's so great to see Alfred Molino again as Dr. Octopus because I really liked him. And he was really what made me like that character because reading the comics up until that movie came out, I never liked Dr. Octopus. But after seeing Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire, I really liked Dr. Octopus. And since then, we've gotten a lot of great Dr. Octopus stories, I feel, like with Superior Spider-Man and then even with the video game, the Spider-Man video game from Insomniac that came out recently. So... 
I'm I'm really excited to see this. Uh, you know, at least see him again as as uh, as Doctor Octopus. But uh, who knows? Maybe I'm hoping we'll still get a Venom cameo. Hopefully, other stuff. There's been rumors about that, but I don't want to talk about that. We'll uh, just wait and see when the movie comes out in December. So thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the future. Peace.